Hi, welcome, it's Sunday. Normally I do my Facebook Lives every morning uh, around 9 a.m. on the weekdays, but I thought I'd take the time since the house is empty for me to uh, share some thoughts about uh, social media uh, and also about uh, you know what I post. I wanna specifically talk about Facebook because, so just the other day, someone, uh, one of my friends uh, critiqued me by saying, you know, Bobby, I'm, I'm missing all the positivity, Bobby, that you always share, because right now you're sharing a lot about Trump and how terrible his behavior is and all that kind of stuff. And um, and so I want to address the idea, should I always be posting sunshine lollipops? I mean, every morning I share a motivational quote, which my friends seem to like, and I, you know, they click on it. I usually share that around 7.30, 8 a.m. Okay, that's fine. And then, yes, you know, like I do share stuff about politics and parenting and I uh, I might critique the federal, provincial, municipal government. I might critique, uh, you know, Trump or or even, uh, you know, stuff in the politics, whether it's uh, mostly in the U.S. But, you know, and, but the question is, you know, sh do I share this stuff? If so, why? Now, if you like what you're hearing, I mean, and you have comments, please comment below. Tell me what you're thinking. Uh, I'd like to hear more about, you know, what uh, what your thoughts are. So... Sage, what do you mean by not today? Like, uh, I don't, you don't want to talk about it today? That's fine. More than welcome to, you know, watch it some other time or uh, that's fine. So, you know, I post, I mean, again, it goes back to, I'm typically an optimist. I'm an idealist. That's my, I'm, a, I'm an ENFP Myers-Briggs. That's, that's the way I am. Um, but that doesn't mean that I don't critique things or I complain about things or I call things out. I try not to be a complainer all the time. I try to just call things out, call it the behavior. Here's what's going on. Here's why it's, uh, dangerous or of concern to people. Um, and for the most part, the reason why I, I share a lot of so, politics stuff is because I'm very passionate about politics. I'm passionate about politics. I'm passionate about um, parenting. So when I see something that's going wrong in politics or I see something going wrong in parenting, uh, I will definitely call that out. So I'll definitely call out someone like Trump who is exhibiting very, very dangerous behaviors. I will call out a parent or a parenting thing that I've seen, which I think is also very dangerous for, for children. Those are the two areas where I really call it out. But but that still goes back to positivity or, you know, productive body. You gotta take what you gotta take, you know, Bobby with with or, or any any of your friends you follow or you are friends with with what they post. And if you don't like what they post, you unfollow them. But for the most part, I like to keep it real. I like to be honest, I like to I like to engage discussions. I like to get people to comment and share stuff. I'll always challenge people to comment in a very respectful, uh, strong way. But it still goes back to uh, when it comes, when, I, when you think of positivity or you know or sunshine, it all goes back to the thing that I care most about. It's heart leadership. Everything I do, from parenting, politics, to everything else I post about, it goes back to heart leadership. So that's leading with gratitude, with with values of love, gratitude, and leadership, love, caring for the things that are important to us. Because if I don't speak up, then then you know there's a great Martin Luther King quote that says, if we don't if we don't speak up, then we're you know almost as bad. So for me, I am going to speak up. And hey, Dana, uh, uh, Malika, thanks for joining me. I am going to speak up because uh, I am I am sunshine. I, I I love love so much people. I love so much great things. I love so much um, making the world a better place. That when things show up that are taking that away, I will passionately talk about it. That includes politics and parenting. Those are two big ones that usually come up. So I will talk about it. Heart lead, I also talk about heart leadership as a gratitude. I'm grateful for what we have, but also I don't. If there's something that's going to pose a threat to that, I will want to talk about it. Um, and when people, you know, engage in me, I try to be very loving and caring, and try to help them out, be supportive, and try to create, you know, meaningful dialogue. And then leadership is the third thing, which is you know, about heart leadership. Leadership's anything to do with to help us evolve, change, and grow for the better, so that we can make ourselves better, as well as make our teams, our people, our family, our relationships, and the world a better place. And so again, that's why I'll talk about things in politics, whether it's again, Trump is a perfect example because oh, so many behaviors he has are just so um, uh, anti to what I what I believe in. But also, it's a great learning lesson for what we should or should or shouldn't do. I also talk about parenting when there's bad parenting or there's bad corporations that are doing things that. I think are wrong against people. Uh, I definitely will call it. Now, of course, I can't talk about everything because then some people complain. Well, if you're going to complain about X, why don't you complain about Y, Z, and J, and K? Well, you know what? You can't talk about everything. And if you did, you wouldn't have any time to do anything else. So I take the ones that, you know, mean more to me or, or, or hit my heart more. I'm definitely an advocate for, you know, helping uh, children and uh, and parenting. I'm also an advocate for dealing with politics. So those are things that I talk about. Uh, you know, I'll also talk about fun stuff like... Uh, like uh, like hockey or a Seller's of Catan or my family, whatever it might be. But that's what I do. So, you know, 
Right. Should I be sunshine lollipops? I don't think anybody should always be sunshine lollipops because it's not authentic. Uh, I have no problem with somebody who only wants to post the positive things. That's their that's their prerogative. I'm not going to critique someone for doing that. Um, you know, Facebook and you know, other social media is an outlet for how you you set your objectives for how you want to post. If you want to post only crap or you want to post only positive stuff, by all means, be my guest. Right? If we, if and if I have a, if I have a problem with that, that's on me. So if someone has a problem with what I post or how I post, that's on you. You need to process and not take it so seriously. Now that doesn't mean you can't critique it. By all means. You know, say, hey, I, I wish there's more, some more sunshine. Well, then uh, I will just say, well, you know, you have to be able to find the sunshine within the post. If I post something that's, criti that's critiquing the government or an individual or uh, some sort of parenting thing, you have to find what's the learning. What can I, how can I, what can I take from this to make myself better and also be uh, and help the world be a better place? And if you can do that, then I think you'll be in a much better position. So I hope you found uh, this helpful. I'm, you know, again, I want to be very clear on my objectives. I post because I'm passionate about things and I'm all about heart leadership and I want to make the world a better place. But also helping people learn to engage better is a big thing that's important to me. So that's why I'm talking a bit more about social media engagement. That's why I'm talking a bit more about dealing with anti-bullies and cyberbullying uh, because it's, it's, it's hitting home with me and I'm feeling my, my network out there. And I think, uh, as I mentioned before, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to keep doing more of these daily posts at 9 a.m. on Facebook Live and I want to hear your comments. I want to hear what you have to say. I'm thinking about starting a Facebook group called the Power of Connection Group where we talk about connection in every aspect. Family, parents, children, business, entrepreneurs, whether it's business networking, personal networking, connection with your spouse, connection with your partner, connection with parents, connection with kids. Anything to do with meaningful, authentic connection as it, as it, as it re relates to your personal development, professional development, your leadership, your heart. I'm going to start a Facebook group talking about that. If you're interested, comment below, let me know. And when I when I do send that out, I'm going to make a big launch announcement. So thanks for joining me for the call. If you have any other, I'll be here tomorrow morning again around 9 a.m. And I hope to hear from you. And if you have any other comments, again, please comment below, share your questions, share your topics for future things that I can cover, anything to do with connection or engagement and things like that. And yeah, thank you, Arliss. I appreciate that. If we don't speak up, we give tacit approval. So we need to speak up, and thank you, Evan. I appreciate the, the kind words. You have to speak up and let people know uh, how you're feeling. But again, if you're going to do that, do it in a meaningful way, in a way that's respectful, in a way that you know adds to discussion as opposed to take away and causes bitter feelings. So hope that makes sense. I'm glad to be here with you, and thank you for joining me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.